Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode number three of Frankencraft. There's my friend. Uh, tried to name tag him. I couldn't. So, I was going to call him Lars, just because he looks like one. Anyways, you guys can hear that tingling and stuff, and uh, the little thing that was right here is gone. Uh, I ended up moving it. I made a couple of these. These are the purple ones, and they actually give you XP. So if you look at my XP bar, it's actually rising right now. And it's because of these two statues, and then this guy here gives me the uh, uh, no hunger thing. So take that XP as well. I uh, got my little sugarcane farm in here. I'm constantly just trying to keep up on it so that I can get as much as I can. I need a whole ton of paper. So I've just been kind of collecting a bunch of uh, paper, resources, and books and stuff like that. Um, basically from the last episode till this one, the only thing I've done differently is uh, I, well, yeah, I dug out this room. Ooh, fancy, huh? And uh, you can see in here, I brought the power from over behind these machines that were in the next room. That's where the DNA and the uh, alloy smelter is and dragged it all the way around there and put it into the back of these guys, my lasers. And I ended up having to make an assembly table and that's how, oh yeah, I got my landmarks in there. Uh, that's, you use this, uh, the landmark with uh, gold redstone capacitor, something like that. Definitely not cheap to make. Uh, but with all the resources that I have now, um, I got the uh, lapis ore from the nether. And what you do with that is, oh, oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. You put it in the alloy smelter. Oh yeah, I got my heart fused quartz glass in here too. Uh, you get the quartz from the nether, you put it in here and it turns it into the fused quartz. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, you put the lapis in here, lapis ore, turns it into regular ore and almost doubles it. Then you put it into here, the alloy smelter, and it like quadruples it. So that's how I ended up with so much of the, um, the quartz. Like I've got almost, yeah, two and a bit stacks of blocks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've still got the obsidian going there. I actually brought the basalt with me because the plan is... Um, well, I was going to make a bamboo fence because I'm going to fence in my cows because I'm going to need a supply of leather. You can see off in the distance that I've been busy. Um, unfortunately, the uh, way that I was trying to set this up to do the uh, uh, storage, this ain't going to work. I'm going to be changing this uh, not very much, but what the idea, I'll show you what I'm trying to do is I'm going to put these right here, like that. So I have double stack. I think that'll work. Yeah, so they're going in there and what I'm gonna have to do, I was trying to use um, a filtered buffer to try and get whatever I needed to go over this way. The only problem with that is if I try to go off the opposite side over to here, uh, out this way, it takes whatever went there over to here, and I get a, a mixture of junk in here. So I think what I'm going to do is this will still remain here, but I'm going to filter things like mud, clay, sand, dirt, cobblestone, gravel, um, basalt, cobble, salt, that kind of junk over to this side, and that way. Um, I'll have 16 in total of these that I can put in their place to, um, I don't like that. That's gonna bug me so much. Oops. Um, so that I can basically use this as the filter. It's really the only way I know right now. If somebody else knows a different or better way for me to do this, please do let me know. Um, Again, I don't have a lot of resources, and for what I was getting out of here, um, I think it's all jammed up in the machine right now. <laughs> I wouldn't let any pipes go through, which is why I disassembled that. So I think what's going to happen is, um, even though this is being filtered, I'm going to take this off, and this will become my filter. Because unfortunately, I don't know where anything else will go if I put this, like, 
I'm not sure how to change what this is. Like if I put this in, it stockpiles the dirt in here. So I only get one stack. Uh, the other thing I wanted to be able to do was I, if I have the mod is the better barrel. Yeah, is I want to get into this. So you can see it's a chest inside the normal barrel and it just adds a ton. I think it's a thousand twenty four stacks instead of sixty four. Uh, so that's the plan is I'm going to try to get that there. Um, it's been a little bit tedious. The whole process of me trying to get everything all set up for the bedrock machine. Uh, ran out of a ton of resources and um, like I said we've all been taking on big projects over at the other side um, where the other guys are they've taken on uh, the IC2 which is um, like generators um, nuclear generators and stuff like that what I'll do actually I'll pause the video here I'll take a trip over there it's this way sorry I'll take a trip over there. It's about 2,000 blocks away. And I'll bring you guys back once I get there and just give you a little tour of what we've actually done over on that side for the other guys on the server. And uh, when I say we, I mean them because I've actually been over on this side trying to gather a bunch of resources. And uh, the adventure that I went on with OG was uh, we ended up going out minus 15,000 to 15,000. So that was the X and Z, uh, y, no, X and Z coordinates. Minus 15,000 X to 15,000 Z and uh, or Z depending on where you're from and uh, it was one hell of an adventure I tell you like we were just uh, we found these little peck peck guys and apparently uh, we killed them and uh, they killed us <laughs> it was actually quite hilarious because these guys are tiny but they pack a hell of a punch like two hits and you're dead so it was uh, pretty awesome to find those guys. But we found out after the fact by reading one of the books we found in the village that these little peck guys or tech guys, that you can bribe them, essentially. If you give them something valuable, they'll become your friend and possibly give you something even more valuable. So we're going to keep that in mind for the next time we find them. Anyways, I'll bring you back once I get to the other base, guys. I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to bring you back quickly. This is the structures that I was talking about. This is by um, Thomcraft, and it's the obsidian totem pole. Then it's got regular obsidian in it, and the chest is usually filled with goodies. But we all we all already looted this. It's uh, like halfway to the spawn, and uh, so this is what we were finding basically all over the place. You just keep flying around. You find one of those. You loot it. The only thing is, is you got to be careful of the uh, wisp that is around. It's a little glowing light. Uh, they get angry very easily, so just be careful of those guys. Anyways, just wanted to show you what that was about, and I'll see you when I get to the new spawn. And we're here, guys. So, you can see, <laughs> guys have been pretty busy. Uh, again, you can see that, uh, you know, each guy has been respectively, uh, working on his own individual kind of uh, style. I ended up taking up the genetics and uh, doing the bedrock armor because it's completely OP, badass, love it. And I uh, can't wait to get that done. Uh, we've got some of the genetics over here, but uh, they weren't aware that I was going as ape shit as I was on it, pardon my language. Um, yeah, I, I, first night I had uh, underwater breathing. We now have underwater breathing, speed, uh, flight obviously we got the more hearts from the iron golem but I don't know whether or not um, it actually took because if you look at the hearts I have there's no double up um, the other thing I have to do is fix this um, currently it crashes my game so there's a bit of an issue with that uh, we had a, one of the guys on the server go through it and um, when he came through, he was inside this block and he died. And the gravestone broke it. And since then, I haven't been able to get it fixed up. So we've got, uh, you know, a little farm going on. We've got a lot of the, uh, like a sprinkler going as well. We've got the uh, magic crops going. And a whole bunch of cows. Damn, I wish I had known about that over at my place. 
Uh, yeah, so we've got a couple houses that the guys have designed. Uh, this is by Andy. Uh, we got the blacksmith, which is done up by sausage with a huge smeltery. I kind of have the urge to jump in there. I know I'll die, but whatever. Uh, we got a ton of rainbow trees over here as well. Uh, we've got the uh, killer XP station in here. You can hear it going away there. And we've been collecting the XP like it's completely full. What do we got? 16,000? What's that? Glass, chisel glass. I wonder how I can... Uh... Yeah, see, I've got uh, f uh, almost a full stack of this. I've already got two of these, so I can easily put, uh, f what, five, six, seven more in here? And uh, we'll probably have to triple this here. Like, this is insane. We're already at 16,000 full. Better shut the door. Don't want no accidents with creepers. Uh, we have the enchanting area here, which is now going to be redone. Uh, it will probably still be up here, but with all the bookshelves, I'm stealing them. I don't know if the guys know that yet, but they'll know when they watch this episode. Because um, I've got the ender cores already made. I have, uh, I believe, eight of them. And uh, we're going to be putting those up here. They're 20 levels each, so we'll have enchanting for 160. And uh, that's if we can figure out a way to use the other enchantment, uh, enchanting plus or whatever it is. And the other thing that I ended up making just as like a little bit of a gift, we had a, a big giant uh, torch, the magnum torch. It's expensive, but it's pretty cool. Light's supposed to light up 128 block radius. There it is, right here, that big guy. Just so you guys have a comparison, there's the regular torch, and there's the magnum torch. So yeah, it's pretty badass that you can light up 128 block radius, and as you can tell, it's the middle of the night, and there's not a mob to be found anywhere in the whole circle here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we came over here because uh, up the top of this hill, I believe it is, we got the nether portal there, which uh, I think, if you watch my live stream, I spent quite a bit of time in there dying, and... Um, uh, we had the server crash quite a bit there because the guys were um, planting and building these trees and kept crashing the server, which is why I kept getting kicked off. Um, but up here, somewhere, we have a village. There it is, up on the hill here, which is pretty cool. And somewhere nearby, I'll have to take you in a different episode. We have um, a huge volcano. Like it's actually one that's on top of a hill and it's massive, massive, massive in size. Uh, it's got lava in it and everything. And yes, I can see the unloaded chunks. And uh, yeah, it's apparently super massive, huge, looks amazing. Let's uh, put a torch here. Why not? One there too. And one over here. Just kind of light up the area a little bit better. Might as well. I mean, I know the torch is taking care of most of it down there, but you can see even with it being as dark as it is, there's no mobs anywhere. It doesn't technically light up the area, but um, the block radius, it does uh, kind of protect you there. The next thing I've built, I uh, didn't show you that, is I have a refinery. I'm going to have to let them know that I've built one. Uh, he may already have one. This is Util, uh, Util Dale. He's got one of these. Uh, this is the whole IC2 setup. I've been working with thermal expansion, and then I'm going to come over here and uh, build a little bit of a house somewhere. Uh, it's more like a study, we'll call it, because it's, like it's going to be like a library. And I'm going to do all my uh, mistcraft stuff in there. And I'm going to be able to visit different biomes in different dimensions is essentially what it is. So I think that's where I'm going to call the episode, guys. There's not a whole lot that I'm going to do. Um, if I have time and the episode's not too, too long, I'm going to um, probably, I might bring you back once I've got the quarry set up and uh, all the, uh, what do you call it, the better barrels. Once I've got those set up, because I don't think I'm going to use the normal barrel, except for maybe uh, smaller things like clay and mud, where I don't think I'm going to get a full stack, uh, a full 64 stack, sorry. Um, I think I'm probably just going to stick with the small ones for those kinds of things. And then for the uh, things like cobblestone, sand, 
Uh, maybe gravel. I don't know how much we'll end up running to. You don't usually get 64 stacks of gravel, but it is a pretty big area. It's a 50 by 50 block area, and it is going to go down right to bedrock, so it's, you're going to dig up probably 50 layers. So 50 by 50 is 2,500 plus 50 times 50 is uh, 125,000 blocks. So yeah, I think I'm going to need quite a few barrels. So I think what I'll do on the way back to the base is I'll cut down a bunch of trees too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, uh, yeah, you know what? I will bring you back at the end of this just to show you what the uh, quarry looks like. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Uh -huh. Okay guys, so here's a quick little peek at the system that I've got going is uh, going to be something like this. Uh, the only problem I'm having right now is items are coming into here too fast or they're uh, coming back through the system. And I can't really do a filter. I can do it here, but I don't think I have enough uh, variables inside one of these to be able to put what I don't want or what I do want to come through versus what I don't want to come through. So I'm not exactly sure how I can increase what I want to put in there because for me to be able to put in what I want to put in there is gonna take probably 40 slots because you're talking every kind of ore and uh, the different Domcraft stuff and you can see what I already have in the chest right there. So, well, with the exception of the mud. But you got calcite crystals, salt, marble, pearl oysters, kelp, sandstone, shale cobble, limestone. I can't put something in for all of these things. And the only other way I can think of doing it is if I was to... These are hopper barrels, so I was hoping that they'd be able to suck stuff out of it. So it's quite possible that I can take some of this stuff here. Um, Gunpowder. Oh, I'll probably kill the creeper the appetite and the salt and stuff like that if i was to put say one of those in there and one of those in there and all well, the mud that goes over here you know take these kinds of things the gravel's already being done um these pipes by the way the extra utilities transfer and filter pipes don't work for items they all got stuck inside uh they didn't go anywhere they didn't do anything they just sat there so see, I could do this for the items I guess that I sort of want to be here and just keep that for ores. Uh, but I've only got like 40 barrels and there's way more than 40 little blocks that are even just in the top area from what I saw when I scanned through it. Like you, you saw all the different kinds of cobblestone. There's like 30 kinds of cobblestone. So I'm not entirely sure. The only thing I can think of is with the cobblestone here, get rid of these four. It'll increase what I can put back here and hopefully that will separate it. So I'm going to have to play around with this for a little while longer. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out uh, a way to do just a rough storage system. Like this isn't going to be anything permanent. Uh, probably do another quarry over at the uh, new spawn area and do a full on, you know, 250 barrels and every single item that we could ever have and then let the thing go through. But um You'll see what I mean as soon as I hook it up uh, right here. As soon as I hook it up, I end up getting the uh, items that will shoot out. So they go in, they do what they got to do there, but then you see items just start popping out. And it doesn't seem like there's really anything I can do. And then what ends up happening, those things, everything ends up in here in the mud. And the only other thing I can think of is if I uh, break that right there, I let them cycle through, but what's gonna happen is they're all gonna shoot out here now. So that's what my problem is right there for the time being. Uh, yeah, so I got a little bit of figuring out to do what uh, I can do in order to stop these items from flying out because uh, I don't really care about cobblestone, mud, dirt, and all that kind of junk. It's when we get down to the actual ores what am I going to do that? Because I don't want to be losing diamond, gold, silver, iron, copper. That's the kind of stuff that we need. So, a bit of a pickle. 
But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and we will see you in the next one. Have yourselves an awesome day. Take care.